Good morning everyone. Today we're back at the beaver dams and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be brush cutting all of this, moving all this back, clearing it back so we can have an area where we can work. Uh, last summer here we opened up this section of the dam about from here to here and as you can see they rebuilt it pretty fast and this time they did some heavy reinforcements and you can kind of even see where all of that uh material was pushed back last time so today the plan is is that we're gonna cut all this we're gonna cut all that in this area and then other areas as well Now as you can see the area is pretty opened up now. The plan is is that instead of packing the material in front, we're gonna try to take that huge pile of thicker wood, bring it all the way out here, and toss it in here. Um, this area starts dropping. This is about two feet deep right here, and then it kind of goes like this, and then it just drops. So I'm gonna have to be careful there. But hopefully the plan is is that with the removal of that huge entire pile. We'll be able to uh, find the old uh, ditch line or whatever, and we're gonna try to pull all this stuff back, kind of like pull it back here, and then uh, we're gonna open up the dam. We're gonna take off this entire layer of dirt, kind of go right here, all the way here, and that should drain this place pretty quick. And we're gonna try to make it deeper too. And hopefully we can find the other dams that are downstream too. And so now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to take the brush cutter. We're going to head down and do a few more cuts, do a few more area cleanups, and then see how things are looking. Well, this is the next dam <clears throat> in the stream. This is kind of the one that was a little bit hidden. And it seems that it's back in operation to its full force. It's pretty deep again. And yeah, it's looking pretty good, big now. Very to how it was. So the plan is for here is I can see a bottom part right there. I can see kind of the ground. So it wouldn't hurt to cut it back like this. And then we we'll look at how they reinforce this part. There's a lot of material there. And it's open right now it's draining seems that the water level went back to its old number to its old height but like I said if we can I think this is the main dam that we have to remove because 
actually after we clear all this we'll get a better idea of how deep the channel is right here so let's just kind of clear that up before we do any talking i want to see how it looks because well I'll, I'll make a comment you can see the, the ground level right there and then right here there's a huge drop so if we can see where the point where it drops i'll make it a lot easier for us We got this area opened up pretty good and on this side it's a little easier because it's not as deep on the opposite side of the <coughs> of the dam but what we have here is that we have this little clearing now we can actually see what's going on so right here I have a clear um, little uh, I guess bank of the ditch now and it's super obvious where I have to remove now. So instead of focusing on removing all this, I can start like somewhere right here and then just work on my way on removing all this. I also cut up the branches here. Before there was like a bunch of branches going like this. I cut them up and now when I come back, I, I literally just have to, with one pull, I'll just open up this entire thing. <clears throat> and Hopefully this time I could do it from the front because I can actually get in front of it and I could probably even do a depth check. I don't know. We'll use this stick. I'll just stick the beavers eight too. Look at that. Well, if I had my rake with me, it's a little easier. I'm not. I'm hoping this isn't too deep here. Oh, look at that. It's like a foot deep. Yeah, I can walk in this. That's nice. Okay, so looking at man, maybe someday we can even come in through here and just remove all this. Yeah, like right there, there's like almost no clearing. Everything is just overgrown. So this is the dam. That's a pretty good angle right there. This one's about five feet tall, actually. Actually, no, 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 no. If you do it from the point of the very bottom, this thing's about six feet tall. Uh, maybe from there to there. Mm, about 13 feet wide. So that's a huge dam, if you think about it. And then it also kind of goes out like that, but that part's more of the bank. So this is gonna be kind of like a teaser. And I think once we remove this, I think the next video we'll end up doing, we'll just remove this dam and then that dam all the way up there. And I think that will remove all the problems because what, six feet of water or even four feet of water multiplied by like what, a couple of hundred feet. I don't know. You do the square math area. <laughs> That's a lot of water. So it's gonna be fun. And hopefully, 
this will change things up quite a bit. I guess let's go uh, take a look <clears throat> downstream at those other dams. And now we're back at the original dam and it seems that they haven't been really doing too much work here. Uh, this dam did pick up in water level compared to the last time we came here. So it got pretty high. Uh, I'm not really sure, you know, how much effort they've been putting into it, but I don't really care about that. What we're gonna do right now is, instead of cutting all this up with all the dirt, with all the, all the rocks, you know, with all the mud, I'm just gonna cut up a separate section so I don't destroy my blade while I'm doing that. I'm gonna cut this part, like a little bit right here. I'm also gonna try to mulch up this part so that way I'll, I'll be able to relieve like a foot of space where I can move more stuff. And then I'll also have a diff another area where I can pull material because this is getting kind of clogged up. Okay, well, as you can see, this area is cleaned up. I have a little bit of an area where I can uh, kind of stand and pull things up with the rake and then kind of just like push them in a little bit. And I'll also have room where I can throw some of these branches. And hopefully, uh, the next time we come back here, we'll remove it once and we'll, we'll be done with it for a good amount of time, depending on if the beavers will have any um, uh, motivation to rebuild it so we'll see but for the most part that's pretty much it for today so thank you for watching uh, it is a little bit different sorry about that if it's something not to your liking but whatever uh, yeah thank you for watching have a good night god bless Bye.